In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 26, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Los Angeles Angels vs. Detroit Tigers Two teams in nearly identical positions will square off on Wednesday in Comerica Park. The Detroit Tigers are third in the American League Central with a 46-54 record, and they are seven games behind the division-leading Twins. Meanwhile, the Los Angeles Angels are also third in the division, seven and a half games behind the Rangers and four and a half behind the Blue Jays for the final wildcard spot. Both teams are 6-4 to four in their last 10 games heading into this contest. The biggest question is if Shohei Otani will be traded before the deadline. Unfortunately for owner Arturo Morno, this is a lose-lose situation. The Tigers are looking to turn around their season and pull off the upset and home and provide great odds in the process as underdogs. The problem is that the Angels are looking to make a push in the wild card race and control the upcoming game from the first inning. The Angels, who average five runs per game, should drive and runs at will with Shohei Otani, Taylor Ward, and the rest of the lineup making hard contact and powering the ball against Michael Lorenzen and the rest of the lineup to easily play bass runners. The Angels should limit the Tigers lineup with Patrick Sandoval pitching multiple scoreless innings to allow the bullpen to close out the game with the lead. The Angels should win the game with a strong performance on the road. So the Los Angeles Angels money line is our full game side pick. These two starters have been solid in their past few starts. Sandoval had an ugly performance against the White Sox at the end of June, but he has given up three runs or less in four of his last five starts. Meanwhile, Lawrence has surrendered two runs or less in five of his last six starts. The Tigers have scored 21 runs in their last six games, an average of three and a half runs per game to top it off. Both starting pitchers have stepped up recently and they look to control this game from the first pitch. The Tigers should limit the Angels' lineup with Michael Lawrence in building off three scoreless starts and pitching multiple strong innings. The Angels should eliminate and potentially shut out the Tigers, who average only 3.91 runs per game, with Patrick Sandoval building off of two starts where he's only allowed two runs and delivering multiple scoreless innings with minimal contact and multiple strikeouts. This will be a low-scoring game with both starting pitchers stepping up. Considering all the injuries to the lineup for the Angels and the Tigers scoring the third lowest number of runs in the American League. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. New York Mets vs. New York Yankees The New York Mets and the New York Yankees are squaring off in the final game of a two-game interleague matchup on Wednesday evening inside of Yankee Stadium. The Mets are fourth in the National League East with a 46-53 record so far and are sending veteran Southpaw Jose Quintana to the mound and coming off a loss against the Chicago White Sox where he threw five innings and allowed two runs on six hits with no walks and three strikeouts. The Yankees are last in the American League East as they are 53-47 and are having Southpaw Carlos Rodon start here and is coming off a loss against the Los Angeles Angels as he threw 4.1 innings and gave up six runs on four hits with five walks and three strikeouts. The intensity should be high on Wednesday night in the final game of the Subway Series in the Bronx. Quintana is a groundball pitcher that allowed just eight home runs in a full season in 2022. The Yankees' offense relies on the long ball with a team batting average of just .233, which has dropped them down to 29th in baseball. Without Judge in the middle of the order, the likes of Rizzo, Stanton, and LeMahieu have struggled deeply. In fact, Rizzo hit his first home run on Sunday in over 40 games. The Yankees will turn to Rodon in this game, and the lefty has been ineffective in each of his first three starts with the Yankees. I'm not running to the window to back either of these underachieving New York teams, and this matchup is even tougher given the pitching matchup. Jose Quintana and Carlos Rodon don't have enough innings under their belt this season to put together a strong opinion. With that said, we're getting plus money with the Mets and that's where I'd have to lean. Laying juice with either the Mets or Yankees doesn't seem ideal, given the inconsistencies. Also, Rodon has allowed nine walks and four homers in 14.2 innings this season. I like the Mets at a great price here to finish off the series. So the New York Mets money line is our full game side pick. 
The Yankees are having a very difficult time scoring runs, particularly since the absence of Aaron Judge. Far too reliant on the home run, the Yankees have struggled to string together hits with a lineup hitting just .233 as a team and even worse at home. The Yankees are just 19th in runs per game at 4.4 per contest and that number reduces to 4.2 per game at home. Quintana is very unlikely to give up multiple home runs to the Yankees in this outing and looked sharp in his first start since the playoffs, allowing just two runs in five innings against the White Sox in his lone outing this season. These teams have not been scoring enough throughout the month of July as the Yankees are scoring 4.16 runs in their the 19th of July games while the Mets are averaging 4.35 runs in their the 17th of July games. The pitching staffs as a whole have been doing well in the last 30 days as the Mets are fourth with a 3.58 team earned run average while the Yankees are 18th with a 4.58 team earned run average in that stretch. Expect a tightly played game that should be decided late by each bullpen. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Atlanta Braves vs. Boston Red Sox The Atlanta Braves have been doing extremely well this year as they lead the National League East with a 64-34 record. Young right-hander Spencer Strider will get the start here and is coming off a no decision against the Arizona Diamondbacks where he threw six innings and allowed four runs on four hits with a hit by pitch, one walk, and tied a season-high 13 strikeouts. The Boston Red Sox have been trying to get into the playoff race as they are fourth in the American League East with a 53-47 record right now. Young righty Brian Bello takes the mound for this game and is coming off a loss against the Oakland Athletics where he pitched four innings and gave up six runs on five hits with a hit by pitch, two walks, and three strikeouts. Spencer Strider has done well on the road as he is 7-1 with a 2.94 earned run average and a .221 batting average against in nine road games while Brian Bello is 4-4 with a 3.14 earned run average and a .245 opposing batting average in nine home games. These offenses have been essentially equal in the last nine games as the Braves are scoring 5.7 runs per game while the Red Sox are averaging 5.9 runs per game in that stretch. There is a pretty sizable difference between these bullpens as Atlanta is second in the majors with a 3.5 bullpen earned run average while Boston is 12th with a 3.78 reliever earned run average this season. If Bellow hadn't been in poor form coming into this start, it may have been much easier for me to make a case for Boston. But I can't back a guy like Bellow who just gave up six runs to one of the worst offenses in baseball in the Oakland A's, including three home runs in that start as well. Bellow doesn't rely on strikeouts for his outs. He's a contact pitcher and that's not where you want to be against a Braves team that's demolished righties for the better part of the last two months. Strider's still one of the top pitchers in the game and I look for him to deliver here. So the Atlanta Braves money line is our full game side pick. Atlanta entered Tuesday having seen the over post of 52-42-4 mark in their 98 games on the year. The Braves are tied for third in the majors in runs per game with 5.61 runs per contest though that number slips to an average of 5.43 runs per game on the road this season. Atlanta Atlanta's average total on the year is 9.71 runs per contest, a number that falls to 9.05 runs per contest as the road team this season. Boston has seen the over post of 52-44-4 record in their 100 games entering Tuesday's action. The Red Sox are fifth in runs per game as they average 5.04 per contest this season and that rockets up to 5.63 runs per game at Fenway Park. Boston has an average total of 9.67 runs per game on the year and that climbs to 10 10.59 runs per game at home this season. Both pitchers have struggled at keeping runs off the board and we have two prolific lineups, so look for this one to wind up going past the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.